All right, you guys. I'm sorry. I wanted to come back to you guys one more time because I forgot a little bit ago I talked about a fragrance through Owl Rehab that was called Chuckle Musk. And I actually ordered a huge um, shipment, well, for oils at least, um, six ounces um, in, um, or six mLs and six um, concentrated perfume containers. And each one of these come in a huge box and they also come in a smaller box like this. Um, I'm not going to review this one because I already reviewed it. This one is absolutely yummy and like I said before, the reason why I got into perfumes is because I wanted to try some new stuff and I wanted just to kind of open my nose palette to like more interesting and fun um, perfumes that were like something that why not go to a place where they absolutely, you know, um, put high price on smelling good and having a really beautiful and scentsy musky scent to them and I was like Middle East is really popular for certain types of perfumes and certain types of oils and of course oils and you know all kind of other things but one thing that, that's really highly prized is smell and feeling good, looking good, the wear, some of the clothes, some of the hijabs that they wear or um, some of the clothes that they wear is very elegant and so um, I'm going to do three. I have, I ordered probably about eight different oils, but I wanted to do three because for me to explain it and like let you guys understand how it smells, you're really not going to know until you try it. So the first one I want to um, talk about is, okay, so let me tell you. Um, I think it's the Al, yes, I don't know if I can say it correctly. It's called Al Shakriya. And you're not going to be able to read it, but I will leave a link in the description bar so you can read about it your own self. Um, Amazon.com had these scents, and I'm going to read do three. Illusion, Ashakriya, and Empress for now. And these, to me, I did not take a liking of, I didn't take as much of a liking of as the rest of them. Like Chuckle Musk, there was a couple other ones. Balkis, I liked, um, but this one... These three I just haven't connected to as of yet. You never know. Sometimes you, you, you feel different, your hormones are different, and you all of a sudden like certain smells. Um, so, But right now, uh, they're kind of sitting in my perfume box that I have. And it's like a little cute, I have like a matching set of perfume box. And they're kind of sitting in here so at least they're not damaged in, in the sun. So let me describe it for you before I let you know how I feel about it. It's supposed to be a heavy wood woody oud and amber smoky sweet smell with florals um it says that it's between arabian oriental perfume smell um then it has a natural essence of oud rose of taif or tiff um incense musk and wood and rare spices okay so if you read it if you're not with those type of scents you wouldn't necessarily order it but when i read reviews they were like smoke and spice with a touch of floral and it just made it sound so good and plus oud is highly prized in the global market it is a wood that is rare commodity because I guess it is being it has like a it's like infected by a certain strain of bacteria and once it's strained it creates this resin and all this kind of stuff but it's valued in many cultures because it, it's used in incense and fragrances and perfumes just to give you understanding they say the global market for agarwood is actually estimated to be six between six and eight million dollars okay hello if you have a factory farm of very expensive agra wood, very expensive, like this very expensive, you know, bark. You are in the money business of between six to eight million dollars. Okay, so, um, I don't know <laughs> if this is 100% top oil oud in here, um, but I smelt some Tom Ford fragrances, and he claims to have have a, his own little manufacturer 
a manufacturer of oud and have his own little access to some of these rare commodities and that's why he sells his you know perfumes for you know 189 100 you know $99 because you're buying a little cute bottle but you're, you're also buying Tom Ford's name but you're also buying the fact that this oud is very high cost so I don't know if this is top brand but <laughs> I don't know I'm not sure but this one let me say upon smelling it they said it has like more of a oud musky smell and to me when you just take a quick whiff it has like a very musky but sweet smell actually I do smell the spices but I do smell I don't know if because I smell Tom Ford and I don't know if that oud is the same thing as this oud. I don't think this oud would be more top shelf. But I do feel like maybe it maybe caught the bottle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it, it caught it on the spray. You know, it kind of, the wind kind of wafted into the bottle. I don't think it's top. I don't think there's too much um, oud in here from what I've smelled. Um, it has like, this is going to sound bad, but it has almost like a toilet cleaning bowl smell. Like, it sounds so bad, but it has like that blue stuff that you put in the toilet so you can keep it fresh and clean and keep the, you know, the smell from, you know, the smell in the ring around the toilet. That, that's what, this is what it smells like. So, but when you put it on, it has more of a spicy kind of sweet scent but the predominant smell is more of a musk smoky scent I guess you can say I don't want to ruin it the next one is Illusion so Illusion is by um, I think this is by Nabil yeah it's by Nabil and this one to me smells a little bit better I do like this smell so this one, okay, let it sit there for a minute. This one is supposed to have a top note of pineapple, plum, bergamot, strawberry, and lime. Moto note is Japanese lily or jasmine, rose, gardenia, and the base note is supposed to be vanilla. Cedarwood, sandalwood, musk, and ambergris, whichever, I don't know what that is. Um, it's supposed to have like this oriental fruity woody smell. And I was drawn to it because I was like, ooh, top note of pineapple, yes, and plum. Like I've, I love bergamot, I love strawberry, I love plum, I love pineapple, so I'm thinking, if anything, it's going to be pretty sweet. Um... But when I smelled it from the first time I opened it, I was like, ooh, didn't smell too good. But the reviews were pretty good on this oil. There was a couple people who didn't like it, but there was a couple people who thought it was like, there was a couple people who thought, like, they described it like, I am a queen walking through the air, and as you smell me, you smell my inner spirit. And, like, it just, the reviews were nice. So I was like, I'm going to try this bad boy. So my initial... thought that comes to mind when I smell this is sweet. I don't smell plum. I don't smell bergamot. I might smell a bit more bergamot. But I smell more like the floral scent. So it smells like a sweet jasmine lily gardenia smell. And it smells more like a gardenia because jasmine lily and gar well jasmine and gardenia number number one are very strong scents. So to have those as like a middle note I think those always overtake the top note because those are just really strong smells. Um, once it sits on your arm or your body for a while, it's going to be different for every person. But for me, it just has like, if you want to go out to a sophisticated place and you want to put on something professional but more upscale 
and you want to pitch your hair up in a like a little sh you know chignon or some kind of updo you would wear that that's what it has that smell it's a little bit more professional a little bit more like experience and a little bit more mature does that make sense I don't know but that's the kind of smell I get from that one um, the last one I'll be reviewing, so I'm trying to make this quick, is Empress. Um, Empress to me, okay, let me tell you what, what they say. It is supposed to have a top note of bergamot, orange, and grapefruit. And, that, and to me, that smells, that seems like it would be a very fresh, very fresh scent. Rose and jasmine. And the base note is sandalwood, patchouli, tonka, tonka beans, vanilla, and musk. So I was thinking, uh, you know, that might, it might come, you know, that one might be kind of yummy. But I knew that this one was going to be more mature. And I knew it was going to be more of a clean, fresh scent. Um, this one had about 78% of high like five star reviews um there was only like five percent that are one star and so there wasn't too many in between so i was like this one must be a really yummy clean sweet kind of scent um as you wear this okay so as you wear it it, it does immediately have a kind of fresh like orangey scent and the orange to me comes off as you know those peds like those peds you used to open the top and like the head used to open up and you can eat those like little peds and you would like they like like a hard kind of sugar candy and you would pop up on the top and it would open and it would like spit out like a little ped. That's what it smells like. That orange kind of scent. If you people know what it is. If people who don't know what that is, I'm so sorry. But the ones who know what that is, you wouldn't know exactly what I'm talking about. So it has that scent. And then, like, just, like, letting it sit for, like, what, a minute? It all of a sudden has more of a floral. Now it's more floral orangey. Then I can kind of smell more of a patchouli I don't smell vanilla at all all these that claim that they have vanilla in them for some reason I don't smell vanilla and I that sucks because vanilla is I love vanilla the scent but then once you let it sit for a little while it does have a nice scent now where would I wear this to um I'm the kind of, I think if I was walking out and about with maybe on a new date or something like that um and I you know at a different spot in my life more mature you know more put together I would put this on with like a white linen outfit you know I would have like a nice sweet but clean fresh scent and this is not like a playtime smell like chocolate musk is playtime you can put it professional or play but you're you're always going to smell like a candy bar or a chocolate bar or a fresh baked cookie walking around. That's what chocolate mess smells like. But these are way more mature. They're definitely for people who are, I feel, either have an old soul or at least 30 and up. Because it just, it just has that kind of scent. Um, is it more musky? Yes, it's on the more of the musky side. Is it sweet? Not as much. Is there a clean scent that's kind of an orangey smell? Yes. And so, anyways, um, it's been 14 minutes, so I am going to cut it short. But just let you guys know that, you know, there's so many different um, things out there that you can experience. And you can always, think, thank God, there's the internet. You can have these things come to your front door. Rather it be wigs, rather it be um, paintings, rather it be perfume you know perfume that you've never tried before that when you go to like Nordstrom's or you go to some expensive store if you can't afford those top shelf 249 bottles um whether you're like a Coco Chanel girl where you want to try something new that you can just wear every day versus spray on that favorite perfume 
I would say give some other fragrances a chance. Um, Our Rehab and Nabil have really good scents. And you just never know that you might fall in love with something and find something that's not as costly, but is as great quality. So just open up your palette and see if you perhaps will like some of these perfumes. I'll put the information in the description box and once you look at these, maybe look around to some other ones and see exactly what you do and do not like okay so anyways um thank you for watching my video thanks for stopping in again you guys i want to do two today so remember stay true to yourself so others can see the beauty within bye you guys